Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and today we are going to be playing some Center of Gravity. This is going to be a three-on-three, -three. and today, well, we are playing, and um, I would like to award um, the new Player of the Week award on Monday, because I've already played a game that is worth of the award, which is right here, this guy, Johnny de Guzaman 36 Playing as Germany goes for an admin build in the first minute of the game. What a great idea this guy just had. So, let's go into my perspective. As Japan, I'm obviously playing air, and this Russian guy trying to play aggressive. You see, he's grabbing depots. He's trying to push out. And right here at the beginning, I'm trying to get some early game truck snipes. What I want to do is be very, very aggressive early game because we have a guy going admin, so I want to get those truck snipes really give myself an advantage if I can get an advantage at all so I'm just going around with my fighters trying to snipe trucks wherever I can right here the uh, Russian guy decided to uh, pump out some anti-aircraft to defend against my air force so we have a random piece of infantry and you'll see this admin stuff really screws us over very late in the game so Looking at this, this guy is just going a very turtle build. You notice he's built almost one of each building. He's built an armor base, an artillery base, an admin, and then barracks. But he hasn't built anything else. You know, like, what the hell? He's built two barracks. He hasn't built three depots yet, and we're five minutes in the game. Like, what the hell? What's wrong with this guy? So I come in here. I bomb this guy's base while his secondary HQ get... The barracks, get that, get the building truck, and I get the secondary HQ, which is a huge blow. That's like, what, 10 20 40 50 dollars. Um, add that all up together. That was like 120 something dollars worth of buildings that I just bombed in one shot. So German guy here decides to go air to counter my air force, which is a big issue for me because I won't be able to just go and concentrate on bombing if I have enemy opposition in the air. So now I've only got two fighters, I've got a recon plane and I've got a bomber and all that stuff. So you know, actually no, my recon plane is still alive, the Susie. So that's always nice. Looking on this side of things, not much happening. He's using decoys and he's still turning on like a bitch. These guys know that they can play aggressive because he doesn't even camo his base. He lets them know that he's making admins like an idiot. So it's just like, uh, you know, it's just like. So this guy coming into the woods here, he's going to sneak up on me, and um, I guess I kind of lost focus on him because later that infantry comes to bite me in the ass. When I say later, I really mean it. So I get, I don't know why my bomber did not bomb. But I kind of guess I just forget about the infantry for a minute. Because of these meshesmiths appear, so I lose my focus on what's happening here. When you look here, he is sitting right outside my base with some infantry. Now you see more infantry coming along. So then I think I get a bit more of a focus right here. Boom. He starts moving in. And with enemy pressure of two players, I kind of started missing that until he took my barracks, which was a big problem. Luckily, I managed to take it back, but still, that's besides the point. I let it happen. I wasn't paying attention. And this side, well, nothing's happening. The guy just, no, nothing's going to happen to that guy. So, I've already been pushed back far because these guys are trying to grab the middle depots, which is smart. They already have so much more money than us because they, we, you don't have these strength depots. They have all four of those. They probably have their side depots. And we have admins. And if you look back here, this guy already has four admins. And he went admin build like this German guy. The only difference is that this guy uh, made an admin and that was it. This guy made a bunch of admins. Which really gave them even more of an advantage in this situation. Not that going admin is ever. But if you're going to go admin, like be smart about it. Don't just make one admin and be like, oh, that's enough. Because... That's what this jackass said, like, god damn it. Like, I hate people that go, go for an admin build, and then 
they don't make any admin. They make an admin to start out, and then they're like, okay, I'm set for the game. I have an admin. Well, good for you. It's going to screw over your team like you are seeing right now. And uh, I'm receiving massive pressure from the Russian dude who is just basically bombing my base and stuff. So right here, I'm going to go and try and go for a bombing run and stuff on the Russian guy's base. Unfortunately for me, the German guy has air in the area. And I can't really divert my fighters there extremely quickly because I have to focus on this, which is a problem. I have too many planes on the ground and I just lost all of them because of an artillery shell, which points the importance. Don't keep your planes grounded and especially if RDE is raining down on you, make sure you have your base camouflaged. So right here, we're getting pushed back. The Russian guys on our team starts making some admins, so, you know, because right now the only way we are ever going to win the game is either if I go and bomb everything in one foul sweep, which I cannot do, because the German guy is paying a very good attention to what I'm doing with my air, which is something most people don't do, is pay attention with uh, your air. So, I lose all of that. And so, my fighters, my fighter bombers, like, this is so depressive to watch. You cannot do anything against it. It's, it's so depressive to watch. This guy has four or five admins. Okay, great for him. This guy has one admin. This guy has none admins. This guy has four. This guy has one. This guy was the first person in the game to build an admin, and he still only has one. He has an airfield. He has an armor base. He has an artillery base, a barracks, another barracks. Okay? This is stupid. Why do people like... And he has no units. Where? What is he doing with his money? Like, are you kidding me? This guy is setting himself up and his team for a complete, absolute failure. Now you can see this guy's using decoy units to help... Well, create the element of being powerless against overwhelming odds. Now this guy who has zero army but has every single building in the game, and look at that, he's making another building, probably another Sig Freak over there, he's making 88s. Like, what the hell are you thinking? And this guy's a level 100, that's a funny thing. He is a level 100, he's what I like to call a fake level 100, because I don't even know how someone this incompetent in Ruse gets to level 100. He... Like, what? This, this is a joke. Admin... Ah! Yes, noob player of the week. And then the Russian guy, he got his ass kicked because his base was getting already like crazy. So he lost all his admins. He lost all his bases. He surrenders and the base is given to this guy, which is even worse. So, fast forward a bit more. And like, as, as you guys can tell, we are losing this game, which was already pretty much predetermined by the fact that a guy on our team went administrative building start I have no Air Force, I have no money to create an Air Force right now with, and this guy is rolling in with a giant stack of super pushing. So, at this point in the game, I'm a little bit like, screw this guy, he screwed us over. He didn't do shit, like, he really didn't. He didn't think, he like, he has a, oh good, you have a radio silence, he doesn't even have a camouflage in it, like, what the hell? So, I managed to go for a bombing run, took out two admins. But at that point, it was far too late in the game. No matter how many admins I take out, they had a giant army already rolling through my base. That's when I decide to give up and let this guy fight the rest of the fight. Which shouldn't be too long, because knowing him, he's going to give up very quickly. Why? Because he's getting his ass kicked. Now, all of a sudden, oh, tanks are rolling through my allies' base. And they're coming towards my base. You know what? What's a great idea? I should make artillery. Yes. That will help a lot. As you can tell, the artillery he, he is using is doing lots of damage to the enemy. And why not? There is a single air transport coming towards my base. Let's spam more anti-aircraft guns and artillery. Because artillery is so good versus tanks. Well, they're, it's very good against decoy tanks. But it's not going to do shit against the Pershing. Sure, if you have 200 pieces of artillery, you'll kill the tank. If you have the regular amount, yeah, good luck with that. And that going to happen at all, whatsoever. Good luck. <laughs> like, what? He's making artillery and 
in storm uh, storm tigers. Like, what the hell? This guy's such an idiot. Like, guys, this is like I'm not the best player in Ruse. I will tell you guys that straight up. But I will also tell you I am not the worst player. I'm not even close to being the worst player. Tip to you guys. Like, I'm good enough to recognize that this player sucks ass. This dude right here. Whatever how you pronounce his name. And that you should never start a game or build with admins. Just like, just don't do it. It will not work in your favor ever. Like, ever. You're just causing suicide when you're doing that. You know, he's using assault guns combined with artillery to take out, what, two Pershings, if I'm right? Yeah. That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, now he got an anti-aircraft gun in range. That's going to do some serious damage, too. And he surrenders. So, as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys all next time.